That's all. You first came to my attention, I think, oh, many years ago now. I think it was just before Tamarind, where you were. That's right. Um, some years, how many? 10, That's 12 right. years ago? 20 years now. 20, oh my gosh, is it? <laughs> I, I never get that timing right. I met you in 94, end of 94. Is that and right? And you had given a beautiful article to me at that time, so thank you. Oh, God, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely to see where you are now. I mean, quite a journey. Um, this is an extraordinary place because here we are. Barclay Square, in the middle of London. I mean, you couldn't have a more prestigious address, could you? Well, let's put it this way. When I left India, since then I haven't left Mayfair. Yeah. So <laughs> I came to Tamarind, which is in Mayfair, and then I continued my journey within Mayfair. <laughs> so this is where I am. Yes, I, I feel home, let's put it this way. Uh, those were days when not many people opened restaurants in Mayfair, when Tamarind opened, and everybody said, are you crazy? You should be somewhere else. So, But we started that journey, and now it's... I think time just goes in circles, to be sure. honest, and we are here. Everybody wants to be in Mayfair now. Absolutely. And if you were, I, mean, if, I can't imagine you being somewhere else, but if you were in a, a different area, it would make a, such a difference to the business you get. I think so. It'll be a different crowd, and you would have to look at the different demographic. Uh, people would have different tastes as well. It's In in last 10 odd years since I have been here, I've seen Mayfair business has changed, and it's become more business-oriented rather than family-oriented. Sure. which used to be, yeah. when I was at Tamarind Days, it used to be fairly Tamarind, uh, it used to be business, no, business come family, yeah. but this is more business here. Yeah. So, don't know, maybe city's moving this side. How many days a week do you open here? We open six days, we are closed on Sundays. Yeah, so everyone gets a break. Everybody gets a break. I think the place needs a break, in my opinion. So, uh, any, any restaurants I get involved in now, I always say, let's shut it for a day, staff gets a breather, and the place gets a breather. Sure. It's, it's always important, I think. Talk me a, a little bit through the menu. Well, the menu is uh, very focused, pretty small compared to what from, from the time I started at Tamarind. And I, I have become more ingredient focused. I like my provenance. I, I enjoy cooking with local ingredients. I, I used to, my family used to be uh, in catering business. My granddad was a baker when British were still ruling India. And my dad took up full-time catering, so it was easy for me to get into this trade, but I was given a formal training. So one very good piece of advice and the training which I got at home, that both old men, my granddad and my dad, always bought local ingredients. At that age, I never understood why they did that. Now, <laughs> I understand their wisdom, that yeah. why they were doing it. And my granddad was really old school, and he said, I like to keep my money in the circle. So the farmer I'm buying the ingredients for, from, uh, when his son is ready to get married, I'm going to get the catering contract. Now you have a set menu, um, which uh, one, could, one can have, what is it, four courses? So yeah. two courses, three courses, stroke four courses, whatever they want. Right. In, in lunchtime, obviously, this is in full swing, the set menu. People prefer that because they have limited time. Sure. And early evening, we open at 5.30. We are slightly early birds. And uh, restaurant is pretty busy, pretty much from 6 o'clock onwards. And until 7 o'clock, we offer this menu. And from 7 o'clock, we cease to offer this menu and we go back to a la carte. Yeah. From season to season, we vary the courses and also from 7 to 9 courses, we do it, especially during autumn and winter, when people like to eat more and hibernate as well. <laughs> so they, you want to give them more food. Well, I was talking to someone recently who had dinner here, who would had the tasting menu, and said the wonderful thing about it, they tasted so many different dishes, but they didn't feel stuffed at the end of it. I think good food should be like that, in my opinion, Roy. You know, um, we, if you overindulge, yes, you're enjoying it that time, but it gives you pain later. Uh, we, we have a kind of light uh, approach towards our food. A uh, lot of Indian restaurants still here and in India uh, continue to use either butter or ghee, which makes food incredibly heavy. Uh, and also the ingredients of Indian food are difficult, no doubt about it. I'm, I'm the first one to talk about it. But if you, if you approach it thinking that I want to create a light food but still full of flavor, there's no stopping on that. And I think that's what we have proved it at Banaras. And how many covers do you have here altogether? Altogether, if I include the private dining rooms, we are about 140 covers. It's amazing because you're blessed with private rooms. I mean, this one we're in is a very nice room. Um, but then you have the um, kitchen table, which actually does overlook the kitchen. It does. Which is a terrific room. Yes. And then you have the larger banqueting room. What does that do, 24 there? That does 30. 30. Uh, this room does 16. Yeah. Chef table takes only six. Yeah. I prefer to keep it a number, small number there. Yeah. And we have a sommelier's table, which is in the cellar, cellar yeah. table. What's your kitchen team here? How many do you have? 20 people I have, off and on. 
I would like to keep 24, but it's 20 at the moment. Yeah. I look back 20 years uh, and I started, I had a very different approach and I'm sure you had eaten my food that time. Yeah. This country has taught me a lot. It has given me a lot. It's home now. And I feel incredibly proud when I read in some places that uh, Indian born British chef. I wasn't when I arrived. Now I'm a British chef with Indian accent. It's fine. I love it. Thank you. Atul, I know you've got a very busy lunchtime coming up, so thank you very much indeed for your time. Thank you, Roy.